Hey pals, uh, I am back again to talk about a bunch of stuff. Um, I put up my last video and um, it was really great because I had a few people reach out to me, um, more than on one hand. Uh, yeah, a bunch of people reach out and actually say like how they really related, um, that they're like, oh, I feel exactly the same way, I understand what you're feeling. Um, I'm trying to figure out what to do or I'm trying to figure out exactly why I need to keep this item and this has given me a really great idea to try and you know move things on so I think it was a really positive outcome um, with that and um, I tell you what I put my uh, chest of sugar in the bin uh, a couple of days ago and uh, it felt pretty good just saying so uh, off it goes so I have a few more items uh, that it's uh, it's time to go. Uh, that's oh, how the weakest link of me. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to talk about those and, um, and I'm just going to stop talking. All right, cool. <clears throat> this is the first item, this megaphone. Now, I originally got this megaphone. Uh, it was owned by uh, a friend, Brad, one of my good friends, Paul, his brother. And uh, yeah, somewhere along the way, he said, you can have this Mac because I just seem to love to go around my house and, and just use it and be annoying with it. Um, anyway, what it actually reminds me of, though, is when I used to live in Hawthorne. Uh, and I lived with um, a great friend of mine, Nugget. And uh, this really reminds me of that period of time when we lived together. Um, I was certainly the, um, I think in a fun loving way, the annoying housemate that just liked to stir nugget up whenever I had the opportunity and uh, I would very regularly wait for her to go to bed during the night. She lived, uh, slept down the hall and I would, um, I would then pull out the megaphone and I would start singing uh, uh, the song Sweat. Girl, I want to make you sweat. So, all across, a la 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 long, a la la. So it's all Coco Jumbo. Okay, I mean you don't need me to sing that song. That I mean, it's a, a bona fide classic, right? Um, so anyway, I would sing those songs there because um, Nugget just pretty much hated those songs, um, or gave up the impression maybe she secretly loved them. But um, yeah, I would scream those down the corridor, um, or play, put my phone there, and I would play them through my phone, and just hear this, shut up, Mac. And I just think that was so hilarious. Any though, anyway though, one particular day, um, I uh, we, everyone's going to bed, was in my room, and um, all of a sudden I heard this, like, when you turned it on, it makes this, like, um, like just, it gives off this signal. Um, like when you, you know, you use a microphone next to a speaker. And in that second, as soon as I heard that, I looked over to where the megaphone usually sits and it was gone and then instantly just like out of a movie just like could hear her through the megaphone ha 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 just laughing you will never get this you know so uh type of stuff so she took my megaphone and uh i mean being a person who just does not like to be defeated i was like how am i gonna get this back and I wanted to get her back, not in a couple of, you know, days time or whatever. I wanted to get her back now. So, it was pitch black in the house or in the apartment. And I waited for maybe 20 minutes until, like, you know, it was all silent. You know, people are probably off to sleep by now. And I snuck out of my room and I went to, um, uh, I knew that we, uh, I, I, I couldn't use my stereo because it was a CD stereo. There was no Bluetooth connection. And so as soon as I turned that on, that makes a bunch of noise with the CDs going around it. And I thought, I need to be able to set something up right, right by her to make some noise. So I realized that we had some computer speakers uh, that were not being used and they were actually about to get thrown out. So I got the computer speakers. I knew that they had a jack connection. I very quietly set them up directly by her door and waited and waited. Probably it would have been about... 40 minutes by this time after she had gone to sleep and I plugged in my phone and I pumped Coco Jumbo and uh, louder than she's ever heard it probably before because she would have been dreaming and then all she could hear was put me up, put me down, put my feet back on the ground and then I had the last laugh. So uh, 
it was a good time. This no longer works, unfortunately. Um, otherwise, I certainly... Huh, what does it, no, it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't work properly. Um, it just, yeah, doesn't work properly. So it's time to go into the bin. But it was a great reminder of an awesome time when I used to live in Hawthorne with my buddy Nugs, who I love dearly. So, um, adios. All right. So uh, the next item, what's the next item? Uh, okay. I can't even believe that I lived in Europe and still use these. This is uh, just a, a container from when I was in Seven Blue. And what does it contain? Floppy disks. Yes, I lived in a time when floppy disks were still in use. Remember having these for saving some things um, for like year seven projects on these and I reckon that was the last year that we ever used them But for some reason I feel as though um, I needed to keep these uh, because I don't know it represents time and space um, Yeah, a simpler time um, But I mean, I don't own a computer. That's I haven't owned a computer that's gonna work with these for 20 years. So um, Yeah, we don't need them um, so, yeah, if anyone hasn't seen one, you're floppy disks. These were, yeah, before uh, CDs, um, what we saved things on computers, so, or USBs. So, time for those to go. No need for those anymore. Old school, hey? Um, okay, this is an apron. My apron from the Great Australian Ice Creamery. I know, right? For anyone who knows me, you also probably know that I'm very obsessed with ice cream, even though I'm trying to deny that now, as though it seems I'm becoming more and more lactose intolerant. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it was a thrill to work at an ice cream store. I'll tell you what, my friend Callie, her parents owned uh, the Great Australian Ice Creamery in Hillsville, and uh, despite not really living close, I would go venture uh, up Maroondah Highway to um, to go work at the ice creamery and I worked there for a couple of years um, and I mean I mean it would be actually probably appropriate for me to keep this and use this in the uh, in the kitchen uh, but you know I already have a uh, I already have a Superman apron so what's the need in two but yeah this is one of my uh, one of my first kind of jobs working up there and um, yeah it was a good time. It was it well? I mean, it was it was a good time, but I mean, I don't need this apron anymore. But yeah, it does remind me of uh, yeah one of my first jobs and, and working up in Hillsville and and uh, probably eating secretly one too many um, cheeky flakes. Like they were watching us, so you couldn't get away with too much. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, what else have we got? Okay. This is something that I feel like a lot of people have at home, but they just continue to hold on to them. And this is uh, a jumper of mine from, this is my grade six jumper, which um, I'm pretty sure I actually kind of got in really late because I didn't actually get that many people to sign, to sign it. And when I was kind of reading it, um, when I was reading it, there were some, some names on there that I'm like, well, I don't even know who, what that says. Um, I forgot that this person existed. Um, and one of the, uh, well, Two of the key people that actually signed this, uh, one being uh, one of my lifelong friends, Kev, to Sarah, school sucks. Kev, great. Still in my life. I don't need uh, a jumper that was signed by uh, him in grade six to remember and know how much I love that guy. Um, as well as, uh, yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of people in here that, yeah, I just do not see anymore and I forgot that they even existed. Uh, my friend Michael signed it as well and um uh you know i was lucky enough to go to his wedding a couple of years ago so like i don't need a jumper uh from the 90s that just sits in the cupboard will never be worn again even despite the fact that you know what you know i'm not a big human i could probably wear it again you know it might be in but um yeah i don't need a, a signed jumper to remind me of price primary school um, and the people that uh, that I do remember and love and, and, and all that stuff are, are still in my life. So I don't need this jumper anymore. Um, yeah. So it's time to go. But I feel like 
things like this from high, from primary school or high school or whatever, lots of people keep this stuff and um, other than really just kind of pulling it out and going, oh, look at the size I was um, or look at that. I mean, well, number one, it, I, I could probably wear it now. So, uh, yeah, it's probably big for me. Hey, I'm going to say it was probably big for me in, in primary school, but I just don't need it anymore. So um, time to go. Time to go. Just taking up space. All right, I'm just going to do one more thing. So this is uh, a bucket hat. I mean, number one, bucket hats are back in. These are fashion again. Um, but so long kind of winded story. This heavily reminds me of an awesome summertime that I had, a, just an, a, a great time in my adolescence kind of growing up. Um, this is very kind of 2000s, uh, teenage dirtbag style. Um, a particular summer, um, I went to, um, I made some really, really great friends. Um, uh, my friends Chloe and Turner. And it, this reminds me of a particular summer. We, um, all year, uh, we, so we played basketball together and we were going to um, the National All Schools Tournament at the end of the year in Canberra. And uh, I know, you're Canberra, what a place to be. But hey, when you're like 16 years old, it's it's fun to get out of the state, right? Um, so uh, we went up there, we were playing in that and we trained a lot together. And that particular week when we were away, we just got on like a house on fire. And um, you wouldn't think it because I was the eldest, so I was 16, Ten was 15, Chloe was 14. We're all in different year levels, but we were brought together by playing, you know, basketball together. And we just became, especially that particular summer, inseparable. Um, Chloe lived a little bit further away, so it wasn't as easy to see her, but she would come over a heap. But Turner and I, we lived one suburb apart, or we lived a suburb over, and we could ride our bikes to each other's house within, you know, 20 minutes. Um, and that summer we were just, you know, we were always on the phone calling each other, the home phone, by the way, no mobiles. Um, you know, hey, what are you doing? Uh, nothing. All right, I'll ride my bike over. Or let's go for a bike ride. Um, you know, we go on adventures. We go to the pool. We go to the movies. We go to these movie marathons. Chloe would come with us when she could. We just, we played lots of cricket. Um, we'd go and kick the footy. We just had an awesome time. And we just were, we all loved the same music. It was very alternative rock, very Triple M, 2000s. Um, you know, I remember constantly going over to Turner's house and we would just, or she'd come over to mine and we'd always put the same CDs on and um, and fall asleep to those. And just like, just genuine people that really got, you know, we just got each other. We just, we loved sport. We loved being active. We loved fitness. We weren't, you know, if we weren't caught up on the things that a lot of other, other adolescent girls are interested in, we were just having a great time together. And it was a warm, it was a hot summer. Um, it was just one of those times where, like out of a movie, you know, one of those summers that you just always remember. And I just love those two gals so much. Um, and despite, like, especially Turner, Turner now lives in Perth, we barely see each other, but... Um, Whenever we do get the opportunity every few years, it's always the same. And I'm so lucky that Chloe still lives really close and we can catch up regularly and, and, and we play football and all this stuff together. So, But this hat represents that time. We actually had another, um, these these other bucket hats, which were just actually our school bucket hats. And we all put champion stickers on them. People thought we had champion hats on the whole time. And that's actually a hat that I'll never forget rid of. But I got this one around the same time for Christmas and um, I wore this a hell of a lot that summer as well and um yeah it just reminds me of that time just yeah what more can you say just um a real fantastic time in my life that I'll just never forget so um but I don't need this bucket hat anymore but as I say fashion back in um so uh yeah I'll put this up probably online or if someone would like it let me know holla you can have it um yeah so that's a uh, probably enough items for now um, yeah, I keep finding things that I'm like, you know, oh, this has got to go. I don't need this anymore. This is time to go. And, and I'm, I feel like I'm actually might get on a bit of a roll. So, um, yeah, uh, I hope this is kind of, once again, been, uh, maybe a little bit entertaining. And if not, um, once again, I guess I, I'm making these for me and for my memories. 
Um, and yeah, if anyone's feeling the same way, feel free to reach out. Um, yeah, and just uh, see if we can help each other get rid of our stuff. Um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll see you at the next one.